blacksmithing is one of the oldest occupations in Africa. It has for centuries provided humanity with skills and ideas on how to explore humanity with skills and ideas on how to explore the environment. Correspondent Sharon Ejason in this report tells us the insecurity in Zamfara State and the preference of foreign products has reduced patronage for this age-long craft. Blacksmithing in Nigeria is an age-long occupation. It is found across all tribes in Nigeria. It is mostly practiced by men and the skills transferred from generation to generation. These blacksmiths have been the source of technology towards making farm implements. They have also been the source of smelting of precious stones like brass, bronze and gold. All these improve the sector in Nigeria. In the quest to see how the blacksmith craft is surviving in Nigeria, I visited the popular blacksmith market named Mekira Market in Zamfara State known to be very busy between 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. From my findings, this market has been in existence for more than four decades, with patronage from different parts of the country. <laughs> Rafiu Guzo, the Seriki of Mekira Market, says the profession requires lots of patience and attention to details to get the required results. I inherited this trade from my father, and I have trained thousands of artisans. From my experience, many Nigerians don't appreciate this art. Lack of government support and poor patronage has discouraged many from joining the profession. I derive joy in empowering the less privileged. According to Mukutu Guza, who is also a blacksmith in Mekira Market, the process of blacksmithing involves the eating process of iron until the metal becomes soft enough to be shaped with the armor and chisel. Eating is accomplished with bellows operated from a wheel that blows air on charcoal. The work is often grilling art and with little pay, but he tells me he and his apprentice who learns from him sees the skill and craft as a profession that is needed in many regions of Nigeria. Since I've come this world, because I'm inherited to my grandfather or my father, we don't have enough equipment. Equipment like even this uh, trading materials. If you have a machine, electric machine, instead we make we made 12 or 20 pieces. We can make 100 pieces. So if that is assist from government or anyway anywhere they we can improve our job within a short time. I don't want to be involved in criminal activities such as kidnapping and banditry. I am learning this trade so I can contribute to the society. I hope to attend a technical school so I can learn modern ways of the trade. Adam Ubuzo describes the trade as an ancestral work. He tells me the insecurity in the state has crippled activities of blacksmiths. According to him, he will want government at all levels in the state to encourage artisans in the market. And government contributes and supports the agriculture in our state. But in those days, when you compare and contrast from the artisan up to, to that time, there is no any contribution. Government neglects the agricultural activities and also neglect the handcraft activities. For instance, let us my work as black to meet. In the early time, government contribute, but now no any contribution. Government cannot, government cannot contribute right now, cannot give the subsidy to the workers in our environment or our association to give us the money. We go. We're traveling to many places and buying materials to come and implement agricultural activities like a wreck. Suraju Shewu, who was my guide on this trip and also a regular customer at this blacksmith market, Hello, took time to buy a granite oil processing machine, which cost about 15,000 naira. Okay. According to him, he likes buying made in Nigerian goods. I need uh, made in Nigerian goods. That's why I'm patronizing Nigerian goods. 
in order to make sure that our youth have gotten job so that they can easily help their children to uh, settle their uh, school fees and their education uh, their education fees their medical fees and other their daily needs today blacksmithing is an emerging career path in developed countries with the future of creating wealth and huge employment due to the development of modern tools in the countries. But in Nigeria, the case is different because the welding, the forging and more is still being processed as it was done in ancient times. Sharon Ijasson, TVC News.